grand rising. Yeah, so we're still a little bit more tired than usual. But obviously that's physically tired. <laughs> I'm actually doing a lot of stuff this day. But yeah, interestingly enough, Cornelius the you know, coherence healing, he was on a huge rant too. And that stemmed from politics, you know, and even you know, a bit you know, about Jesus's purpose of what he came for, which all came up in the book and has spiraled through even like my um, women's circle facilitator having a rant about you know, the core of the issues, which yeah, I always feel like a bit stupid when I end up telling people about this process of, of how I've, you know, seen it shift through, but then people go and, you know, oh, this is why it's happened in the end. I don't know. I could get sort of ignored, in a way, by everyone. But, you know, sometimes the truth is hard to hear, so, I don't know, I don't quite get it, but it's what it is, but people ranting, and that's just a sign of, as well, there's a little bit of coherent, incoherence still in there, but yeah, I'm going to let the cats in, out. <laughs> and also, like, with, um, you know, all the physical work I did yesterday, like, when I first woke up, my body was feeling pretty stiff, but after the coherence healing, it's all sort of loosened up and it's shifting into where it needs to go and things. Um, yeah, feeling different, but feeling good. Hey, Mary? Um, Diva? Oh, it's fine, I don't know. Yeah, so all in line with what I've been saying this morning, actually. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it feels like a lot of people who have had a lot of power and gifts are kind of losing a bit of the plot. Whereas, you know, us little people, us little, you know, my friend in um, America, you know, he's always been a little bit in the pits, you know, kind of. Um, he's just sent me a, a video message of him in, you know, he's like, clearly I'm not at home because look at this beautiful place I'm at. He's moved to another, I don't know, I can't remember, another state, another town. Um, starting a new life kind of thing with his girlfriend. And yeah, kind of ultimately asked for a card reading. Beautiful. Like, it's so interesting how, you know, like I've said, like I do two different, you know, the, the earth and the, and the um, stars, it's two different decks, three different cards of each, and the way they they all interconnect is amazing and beautiful but yeah like I said um, yeah he's shifted into a whole new mindset as well you know similarly to my daughter and me who like I said we've been we've been in the pits for you know most of our life up until this point we've had it really rough um, and yeah, he's also said that he's really learning how to hold his neutral energy space amongst chaos. Yeah, whereas, yeah, like I said, some other people just seem to, like, people unexpectedly seem to be getting really emotional about things. But, I don't know, just my observations anyway. So since I've got the cards out, it's going to be time to do my cards, so let's see, next. Feeling really good about my little 
description on my video I'm posting today for t yesterday. Um, I'm not gonna read it out because <laughs> it's obviously gonna be in here somewhere. Um, but yeah, just really clearly summarizing yesterday and leading a little bit into today. Cards are done. Also had some great chats online as well with very like-minded souls. Um, it's just so good to share, share the vibe pretty much um, of empathetic, empathetic souls who are just, you know, trying to find their way in the world. I guess. Um, but yeah, so I was like, oh no, not anguish, but. Deep cellular healing, and this is definitely like this is what I do. Feeling the anguish though from the earth, not so much mine, which is good. I think these ones probably more related to me, whereas these ones, what's going on on the physical level of things. Um, but yeah, you know, people are like I've been saying already this morning, people are very entangled in you know, in their emotions, but yeah. Um, regardless, you know, whatever's been affecting, you know, rubbed off on me, that's been processed during this morning's coherence healing, so that's a lot of the morning sort of stuff, and then I'll be meandering, <laughs> um, traveling around to obviously get my daughter, child of the cosmos, which, yeah, um, you know, when I travel around, I tend to, yeah, spread my deep wisdom all around that deep cellular healing spreading it around probably actually as well so hopefully the city will feel a little bit relief but there's more concealed earth lessons earth school you know more of a challenge beneath the surface of things so especially you know being today is a number nine day completions I guess I'm ready for the next challenge the universe has to give me um yeah that being said I um because my cards were still out when I was on live uh talking to another soul who yeah like I said very similar in nature um I just asked them at the end I said, oh what are you doing for the rest of the day and they just meant, said that they're unemployed and feeling unmotivated. So obviously a little bit lost with what to do next, like I was. So, and because I wasn't, couldn't do the cards, I was like, oh, I can do some cards. And I said, oh, come back another day. But then the universe just kept me blabbering on. And, you know, like I've said a million times before, I don't necessarily need the cards. Anyway, the words of wisdom are just here, especially when... I think someone like that is similar to me and I can tap into them easier because they're being vulnerable and open and speaking of, you know, how they feel at the moment in a raw way and not scared to admit they're unemployed and, and feeling unmotivated. And so much can come out of that. So, yeah. Otherwise, the cards are a useful tool. But quite often, even then, people won't listen to the message because they're still like, eh, what is some shuffling? And what does she know? <laughs> yeah, whatever. So, actually, before I do go and charge my phone, um, yeah editing my video from yesterday I noticed at the start one of the cleaning jobs I was going to do was the kitty cat area and I didn't do that one so today's day eight, nine completions I'm going to complete the cleaning stuff by doing that area as well um and yeah get ready for the journey so might be it until tonight and this might be shorter than all the other ones. Perfect. 
perfect s travel snacks. Very clean, obviously very clean. And also there's no sugar and just natural sugars. Yeah, basically. Um, one of the very things there might be, but very clean. Obviously, I'm not going to eat all of them, but going to be handy to have on hand. There's a little bit more, like there's an enchantment and things that we say over it, or we write a petition, which is what we wish for it to happen. Mm -hmm. We put it inside there as well. You could do it. But it would not happen. Is that the difference? No, no. You could. If you really mean it, it's about energy. So if you really meant it, like if you really wanted like this self-love uh, charm bag. Mm -hmm. Huh. Weird. Alright. Uh, it's almost as if... Oh, it's actually not almost as if... Since my mum, you know, the last words she said to me just earlier today were about basically, again, her not believing me. And, you know, and I said, you know, just like my dad, kind of, it's the same issue. Yeah, there's been more and more and more and more and more signs that people, like, I vaguely just mentioned something to my waxing lady and she's like, oh yeah, you know, tell me about this book about ancestral kind of programs that are rerunning, basically. I definitely can't remember the name of the book already because I was just more focused on the whole situation. I was just in awe. And then on the radio, um, no, I forgot what it was. Yeah, so on the radio, they were just talking about coincidences, basically. Like, they labelled it as, um, you know, being at the right place at the right time, sort of, or, I don't know, something like that. But something, you know, a little bit more relatable to everyone, but not, but doesn't explain what it actually is but anyway the coincidences coincidences of what's actually happening like in um in the other book basically yeah like timelines merging uh I don't know how to explain this one actually how do we explain how things are aligning up. Let's get back to myself on that one. Oh, I know. It's the, uh, you know, the fact that we're all connected. That's how. Like, we're coming back to the truth of us being connected. We're on the highest timeline. But instead of being disconnected, that's why they're noticing the synchronizations. Obviously, it's not happening to all of us all at once. But these things are happening more and more and more. More and coincidences like that align with your timeline. You know, wonderful divine string of events happening more and more and more. And you wouldn't believe how beautiful the sky looks right about now as well absolutely fascinating has all fixed up oh this bit's fallen down <laughs> um yeah feeling nice and fresh got his uh, freshening things done um whilst I was on the the road um and yeah, I guess it's 
very hard to sum up the amount of signs I've had tonight. Oh, had a break even further. The old programs. Oh, there's just no way to explain it. It's just so intense, really. But anyway, it's going to be it. Just. Yeah, Melbourne was kind and nice, a bit warmer, and I've gotten back, gotten the kitty cat to bed, and I'm like, I'm going to bug up. So, yeah, I'm going to go spend some time with the little one, and go to bed, and that will be pretty much it. Like I said, the signs are all coming in too quickly now, at the moment. Even when I got back home, actually, um, my mum said something about going back to using phones and yet when I left she wasn't agreeing that we'll go back to just a barter system like without cash at all so maybe something has been shifted and she will soon listen or well, she's not listening but her soul is listening in there somewhere anyway which is a pretty sure overall, all these little signs, the universe, because there was another one, there was another song, it was a part of this, this great song that I always listen to, an old one, but like, and I thought, well, I've never listened to this part of the song, like just the last couple of words, and it was about trusting you, and I was like, the universe is telling me it trusts me. That's the that's the full message. All the little signs agreeing with what I've learnt of how we evolve, basically, by stopping this repetitive negative cycles and the system stuff and everything all fits into one. Oh my god. I just can't make this shit up. I was meant to be saying goodnight. <laughs> Ah.